Hello everyone, this is Hani Ismail, your instructor in this course. Let me set the level of expectations in this course. First of all, this course is not academic. It is a practical course where we are going to create a baseline detailed schedule from scratch. So I'm not going to share any PowerPoint presentations. I'm not going to talk in academic way. I'm just opening my files and working in front of you to see how to create a detailed time schedule from scratch. The idea here, I'm using my own technique to facilitate the planning process. So I have invented too many ways in the planning since I'm working as a planning engineer and a planning manager in the past 20 years. I'm sharing with you all my secrets and how to create a detailed, accurate time schedule from scratch. Mainly we have 10 steps. These 10 steps will give you the perfect procedures to create your baseline. However, I promise you that after you finish this course, you will learn too many things. You will never heard about it. You will know how to do your work very fast and you will be able to modify your work later on very easy because we are creating a data model. This course is not a beginner level. So if you are a beginner, please don't take this course unless you have some experience in the basics of the planning and the Primavera. Let me go through the course and show you what are our steps to be sure and confident that this course is good for you. First of all, we will start with our bill of quantity. We will create our data model where we will store any bill of quantity in a database friendly way. By this method, we are going to have the ability to have some summarizations and be sure that we can manipulate the data as we can see in the second step. In the second step, we are going to create our BOQ by floor in the help of the drawings. We have a multi-story building that is a hospital, so we can assign the weightage for each floor in the BOQ. Then we will get the benefit of the Excel Power Query to create for us the calculations where we have now the BOQ per floor. Then we will do more step to create the activity the master ID and reuse this activity master ID with the help of Excel Power Query to create our activity ID which has the cost as well. Then we'll go further and create our WBS in Primavera and we will have assigned the weight or the cost for each activity using Excel and Primavera. And we'll end up having something like this. This is our schedule and we created it from Excel and imported directly to Primavera without any issues. Then we'll work with resources. Now we finish the cost, we'll work with resources. We will have a master crew with some productivity rates and this can be changed later on easily and implemented in all our course. That's why we have here the resource assignment and then the resource sheet ready to be exported to Primavera. Then we will have here the duration estimation based on our quantities and our productivity rates and this also will be imported easily to Primavera. Then we're doing the relationships since we have a smart uh, data model, we can do the relationships easily by defining the master ID of the relationships and this will be implemented on all floors. For example, let me give you an example here. Let's uh, see, I would like to have one master ID relationship and I would like to implement in all floors. I can write it here and go to my relationships and from data here, we have queries and connections. Don't be scared. This will be well explained and you will do it by yourself. It will save for you really thousands of working hours. And I can refresh this one from data refresh. If you can see now, the table will be refreshed and, and the power query will give me all the relevant relationships in all floors. This is a time saving technique. Now we finish our all our activity 
WBS, cost, resource, duration, relationships. Now we will start doing our shop drawing submittals and approvals with the relationships. So since we have a smart data model, we can link the shop drawing to uh, submittals to approvals and we can link the shop drawing approval to all relevant uh, construction activity. We will do this work in Excel, then we will import it to Promovera ready for our use. Same we will do with the procurement. We will do the material submittal, material approval, material uh, procurement and delivery to the site and link the material to all the relevant construction activities. After this, we are going to create our document log where we have shop drawing log and procurement log ready for your use and update. Then we are going to create our monthly man hours and cash flow and monthly average man days. This will be extracted easily from Primavera schedule. We will end up with this schedule where we have the engineering shop drawing submittals, bare division of work. Okay, this is a shop drawing submittal and we did it very detailed one. Okay, and we will have it here. Shop drawing approval, material submittal, material approval, material procurement delivered to the site. And these are the construction activities, all costs and the resource loaded. So we can see here our crews from carpenter, steel fixer, electrician, all different uh, professions. And we have here our cost and you will be able to implement this exercise to all of your projects. As we said before, this course will not involve any update, any claims, any revisions. It is just all about how to create your baseline in the most efficient way. I hope by this video you knew already how I planning to introduce this course, what you expect to get from it, what is my English language because I'm not native English speaker. So if you are comfortable with my language, you are welcome to take this course. I promise you that if you have any problems, I'll be helping you. Also, I'm going to share with you all the sheets I'm working with, the uh, case study files. It will be open source so you can find whatever I did. You can modify and reuse it in your project. See you in the course.